I asked Kelly to join us today to show us one of the place settings that we often use here at the Bed and Breakfast. This particular one's a seasonal one that will take us now from fall into the winter season. We start with the service plate or the charger plate. Some chargers are available in the actual fine china pattern, which is the case with this Lennox pattern, and some are wood or plastic. Some have textures like burlap applied, so they vary in the design, but they're always used as the cover plate. Chargers are pre-placed, and when the main dish comes to the table on the dinner plate, the plates are often exchanged or the charger could remain as an underplate throughout the meal. Chargers are typically about 14 inches in size. The dinner plate is next, and this is the large plate we use to serve the main course. It's typically between 10 and 12 inches in size, and that dinner plate is removed at the end of the main course. The salad or dessert plate is a smaller plate. It ranges in size from six to eight inches. We often use these plates for the fruit course, and then we add a berry bowl, which is often a smaller bowl even than that one, or we can use one of our pedestal footed sherbet dishes, champagne glasses. We have all different types of items that we can use to serve fruit. Most of our place settings use a footed cup and saucer. That's placed to the right of the place setting with the handle facing to the right. And as, a, as you can see on the bottom of that one, there is a little foot that shows. The alternate would be one that doesn't have a foot. It still has a little ring in the saucer, but it has no foot at the base of the cup. The last plate that she'll lay is the bread and butter plate. It's smaller, typically about six to seven inches in size, and can easily hold pastry or a muffin in a pat of butter. It's placed above the forks at the left of the place setting, and the butter spreader is typically placed on that plate at a diagonal. I wanted to show you a little bit about the utensils. We have the utensils pre-placed today, and the basic rule is that the utensils are placed in the order of use, so you're gonna use from the outside in. When you're at a fancy dinner and there are three forks and four knives and six spoons, just keep in mind that it should be set so that you can start at the outside and work your way in. So as they clear, let's say a fish course and a fish fork, those will go together and you'll just keep working toward your plate with your utensils. Knife blades are always placed with the cutting edge toward the plate. And we use a place spoon, which certainly my mom did not use when we were growing up. We use teaspoons. But I wanted to show you the difference between the place spoon and the teaspoon and the soup spoon and the tablespoon. Place spoons are clearly larger than the teaspoon, but they're shaped like a teaspoon. They're shaped like a serving spoon. They're not shaped exactly like a soup spoon. If you'll show them a soup spoon, the soup spoon has a rounder bowl. So there's a distinct difference in the bowl shape on those two spoons. When we set the table, as I said, we use the place spoon. And if we were having a dinner where we serve soup, we certainly would also place the soup spoon. Glasses are placed on the right above the knives and spoons. We use for breakfast a water glass and a juice glass. And so the water glass is placed at the tip of the knife and the juice glass is placed diagonally to the right of the water glass. The napkins could be placed on top of the empty charger, could be placed on top of the empty dinner plate, could be placed with a fork or beside the fork. I'm sure you've all seen fancy table settings with folded napkins and interesting designs and we'll show you some of those in a future video. 